Greetings folks, Princess Sin here, and tonight we are going to do popcorn. Yeah, I know, you're giving me that weird look. Like, really? Popcorn? Well, my birthday is coming up uh, next weekend. It's actually going to be Monday, August 27th. I'm going to be with my cousin out in San Diego. Keep an eye on my channel because videos for train travels will be coming. You'll get, we'll get to that later. But for now, I'll show you my uh, birthday present that I got already from one of my uh, drivers. Check this out. It is a Presto Stirring Popper. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but... Yeah. As the popcorn cooks, it stirs it. We got... And this doubles also as a, uh, you know, a holding container, like this, so you can flip it over and serve the popcorn that way. You take this lid off and you put uh, soft butter up here, and it melts into the uh, popcorn. So we're going to try this out. Can't wait. I'm excited. So, what will you need for this? Well, you will need popcorn of course now normally I get Orville Bredenbacher because that's my favorite they were out of it so I went and got signature which is a uh, Safeway brand that should be pretty good signature you will need vegetable oil or we're gonna use this Orville's popcorn and topping it's got uh, buttery flavor you're gonna need a measuring cup and you're going to measure one, just a half a cup of the popcorn. And the oil, you're going to need one and a half tablespoons of oil. And like I said, you don't have to use this. You can use vegetable oil. Personally, I like to use the uh, oil, uh, butter, popcorn oil, because it'll, the results will come out better. I hope. I also want to show you something else. This popper here, this is a hot air popper. This is an old Sears brand. I bought this for my mom in 1987. Uh, and, and it still works to this day. In fact, the only thing I've ever had to replace was the chute. This thing. Presto now makes the poppers. And uh, that's where I had to get it. But does it still work, you ask? Yes, sir. It still works. So, I'm not giving up my old popper, Mom. I'm just uh, trying out uh, new things. I think the only difference, be the big difference between hot air popping versus oil popping is calories and fat. You get a lot more calories and fat in oil popping versus hot air popping that's uh, less fat. But there is one catch. Hot air popping the popcorn goes stale faster so you really have to eat it fast before it goes stale so anyway we're gonna get to the uh, demonstration of this and uh, we'll go from there we'll be right back alright so I've measured out one and a half tablespoons and we're just gonna flip them over kinda of get the oil all even there You can either put the oil on the bottom or you can put it on top of the popcorn, whatever is easier. Now we're going to measure half a cup of popcorn. Half a cup. Kind of pour it and scatter it around. Just like that. We'll plug it in. And we put the top on. And that's it. You don't have to preheat it, it will uh, just heat up quick. 
So now while we're doing that, I'm going to take our softened butter and I'm going to cut into a small slivers like this and you put them on the top here see that now as that gets hot the steam will uh, come up here and it'll melt the butter see I like extra butter on my popcorn. Let's just hope this works. This butter is not fully soft, so it may not work. We'll see. Well, you can kind of hear it sizzling right now. Maybe not because of the fan. Let's turn the fan off. There. It was a hot day today, so I had the fans going in my home. Cut one more sliver. And then we'll put one on the top. There. If that butter doesn't melt, I've got a plan B. So. This is all we can do for now. We're just going to let it uh, stir the popcorn and uh, yeah, that's all we can do. And uh, when it gets hot, it'll start popping. I'll start filming when it starts popping. Mmm, you can already smell it. You can hear it sizzling and the butter's already starting to melt. Oh, there we go. It's starting to pop. Make sure this is on secure. Yep. <laughs> this is cool. That pops quick. You can see the butter just melting. Check this out. I've even got some seasoning for it. So you don't have to put salt on it. I think we've got a successful uh, test here, folks. What do you say? Look at that steam. It's just melting the butter away. Now, basically, it's like uh, microwave popcorn. you got to listen. As it slows down to pop, then you unplug it so that you don't burn anything. And that's done. There's a couple extra pops. That's okay. Now, so that we don't get a mess, we'll put all the extra butter in there. The steam will melt it. And just go in there. There we go. And then we're going to take our top. And we're going to put it on there. I'm going to set the camera down here, folks, so I'm hoping you can see that. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, I hope you can see that. We're going to flip this over. Just like that. Woo, yowzer, this is hot. Woo. Whoops. Well. There you have it. Now, how does it taste?
pretty good. Hold on a minute. I'm going to put some seasoning on it. We'll be right back. All right, we'll sprinkle a little bit of this buttery season on and just shake it in there. Perfect. Just like the theater. Perfect. So, do I recommend this? Hell yeah, I recommend that. Just be careful when you grab it there. It is hot. And cleanup's pretty easy. The arm comes off, like that. Then you take that arm off. Ooh, still hot. And you just wipe that with uh, mild soap and water and a sponge. Now well, there you have it, the popcorn stir. It's very good. All right. Uh, throw a like if you have one of these and uh, you've tried it. Uh, remember, butter and season to your liking. You don't have to do it the way I do it. I'm just, I'm a butter freak. I love butter on my popcorn. That's why I put so much. Well, that's just me. All right? And we will see you soon for the upcoming train travels next weekend for the August 26th and 27th, a.k.a. good old Amtrak. This is Princess Sin saying goodbye for now. And bye-bye, popcorn.